you see a hero? Yeah. Uh, I know you did. Hi, Grandma. Did you see? Yes, we did. Did you check the picture too? Come up here, sweetie. Friends and family, please help me welcome mother of the bride, Kathleen Sheehan, escorted by nephew, Adam Overlock. This is more difficult than I thought. How about a nice warm welcome for parents of the groom, Mike and Debbie Koziak. We welcome bridesmaid Ashley Linden, escorted by groomsman Ian Davis. Yeah, Ian! Yeah. How about a nice round of applause for bridesmaid Jenna Kyle, escorted by groomsman Daryl Kosiak. Please help me welcome bridesmaid Lori Overlock, escorted by groomsman Mike Hughes. How about a big round of applause for bridesmaid Betsy Sheehan, escorted by groomsman Robert Sheehan. Family, please help me welcome Matron of Honor, Kathleen Hughes, escorted by best man, Neil Kosiak. Please help me welcome, for the first time together in public, as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Joel Kosiak. their first dance together. Another nice round of applause for Amy and Joel on their wedding day. Amy, first of all, you look beautiful today. Yeah. Very young. I'm very happy to now call you my sister and officially welcome you to our family. I also wanted to bid you a bit of good luck. Joel's now your adventure. <laughs> Joel, I know growing up and having such an age difference with your older brothers must have been really difficult sometimes. By the time you were old enough and wanted to hang out with us, you had Daryl jetting off to North Carolina, and you had me spending way too much time quietly studying in my bedroom, <laughs> and then I left the floor to myself. However, we had some great times together, although on many occasions it involved me running back to mom and dad, blaming me for something, or tattling on me. But hey, 
what a brother's for. I'm always happy and proud to call you my brother, and I'm honored that you asked me to be your best man. We made some great memories, and I'd like to share some of all those memories with you. <laughs> just, just a few. <laughs> Being an older brother, I was trying to teach you things. We were fortunate enough when we were younger to move into a house that had a pool. So by the time Joel was old enough, I was more than happy to try and teach him how to swim. Most of those people, though, thought it was just thrown in into the middle of the pool, but hey, after about 10 or 15 times, we got the hang of it. Um, do you remember me trying to teach you how to ride a bike? <coughs> All right, if I recall correctly, I don't think you uh, thought you'd be able to ride a bike, but I took you out there, followed you right behind you for about 10, 15 minutes, and after that, you were riding like a pro. I don't even think you fell once. I also taught you how to drive. Well, not really, I just, I just like this story. <laughs> our older brother, Darrell, is a senior in high school, and I think uh, our Aunt Sherry just gave him uh, her old Mustang. So oh, this no. Darrell and... Really? <laughs> Darrell and Joel and myself were kind of excited. Hey, one of us has a car now, so... I don't remember. One of these days, we, uh, we were in the kitchen. I'm not sure who all was there. Um, and Joel was missing, so we're just talking, and all of a sudden, Joel comes flying from outside, runs by us all, screaming and yelling, and I caught Daryl car. Okay, so I go outside and peek, and there's Daryl's car in the middle of the street blocking traffic. <laughs> no one out there, just the car. So I go out there, there's no key in the car, I push the car back into the driveway, I come back inside. What Joel decided to do was, you know, he, I think he was about uh, maybe seven, eight years old, gets in the car, Put it in neutral, start trolling back. Nah, I'm not going to stop the car, I'm just going to hop out and run back into the house. <laughs> I don't remember the window. <laughs> but those are just some of the old memories. You know, I left out a bunch like our wrestling matches, you know, our baseball card collections, and me trying to teach you something about music, which I horribly failed at. <laughs> I don't have discussion here. I just want you to know we had some great times together, and I look forward to having some more great times with you. And I got one more, one more little story. I don't know, Dad, if, if you remember the day that uh, you told me that, that Mom was pregnant. No, I didn't, I didn't think you remember. <laughs> I was about seven. We were living in our old house on Menden Street, and my father and I were upstairs. And you know, he told me I was going to have a younger brother. And uh, you know, being about seven or eight at the time. Uh, the words I said really you know, wasn't so kind. Uh, so, Joel, I apologize. <laughs> you no, know, I couldn't have been more, been more wrong, so I really apologize. Now, if you could all raise your glasses, and join me in the toast to the happy couple. I wish them many, many happy years of blissful happiness. Everybody have fun tonight? Everybody wang chung tonight. To Joel and Amy. Yeah.